Dicer cuts the meat into one inch cubes. At the filling station, aluminum cans circulate around a rotating table. As one worker shovels cube meat onto the center of the table, others manually fill cans while simultaneously performing a quality inspection. Workers will discard any cubes that are discolored or too fatty. Next, technicians place a single cube of sea salt in each can filled with meat. This is the only added ingredient. At the next station, workers weigh each can individually and either add or remove meat to reach the required weight. The filled cans now travel on a conveyor belt to the cookroom. There, they enter the preheater, which blasts them with steam for 20 seconds. This expels air that's trapped between the cubes of meat. Next, the cans move into the closing machine. The machine compresses the meat to provide sufficient clearance at the top of the can. This headspace creates a vacuum on the can to draw out the remaining air. Then, a device attaches the lid by a process known as double seaming. The process rolls the edges of the lid and can together, forming a rim that provides an airtight seal.